manifest your reality. Art. You can manifest your reality through your magical hands, through the the skill and talent of art. And I've done so 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 much, so many times in my art, in my journey. So I just wanted to come on and show you guys how you can do this. How can you how can you manifest through art and um just bring things into fruition, bring things into your life that you desire. And it's 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 been amazing in my life because I've been drawing since I was young and I stopped for a period of time but when I started to draw again I started to manifest these things and noticing that back in when I was drawing when I was young in my teens I um actually created my reality that that I'm living right now and <laughs> um we can all rewrite our story. We can all write our story. We are the architects of our own story here. Just think about this whole world, this whole reality as a storybook, and you are the writer. So let's let's go ahead and get into this, man. Okay, I have my art all around me, and I'm just like, all right, let's go. Oh, there you go. Something did tell me to go with this painting first, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. Peace, goddess. So this is one of the first things that I've basically manifested. Um, well, not one of the first things. This is the things I want to speak of first. This is actually Eliana of Carbonation. I painted her because her her picture was so beautiful, so inspiring. She's just a goddess, a beautiful goddess, and I just wanted to manifest something for her. I wanted to. Something told me that drawing angel lights like these lights or these light orbs which is basically what i um my intention is for protection guidance and things uh going their way again going her way um actually just making sure that she's all right because i don't know something just told me that it's i want something i just want to manifest beauty beauty into her life because she manifests beauty into mine with this painting so I went ahead and drew her, uh, painted her, drew her first and then painted her. And then like months later, I noticed when I blew out my hair, my hair looked exactly like this photo. So I actually did a like a side and side. This is when, when it's like, uh, when it's blown out though. A side by side and it kind of, I was just like, okay, I just manifested that. And I manifested a conversation with her. So I was pretty, pretty ecstatic about that. <laughs> um, I've actually manifested love through my art and I just always I, I want to know I want to make sure that you guys know that you can manifest your relationships through your art and I've been doing this since I was young and I didn't know that and um it just made me realize like uh that I'm more powerful than what people or what the society wants us to believe we are more powerful beings we we create our own uh reality to through our hands and and so also with our writing i used to wrote, write a lot of stories when i was young a lot a lot of stories and i'm talking about pages off the pages spent hours on the computer just role playing with um just people that was online in this online club and i so happened to create my reality through those stories <laughs> without even knowing it so let's go into uh, so I'm just gonna leave that there if you want to manifest something you want to manifest a relationship or a guy or a girl Whatever you can draw them to your reality and um, I'm gonna give you steps and ways how to keep that into fruition how to bring it into fruition how to bring it into your life how to manifest it the right proper way and How to manifest the right thing into your life if I wanted to manifest her into my presence. I could <laughs> but I'm not gonna say that I'm just gonna stay humble and just like all right I'm gonna put out my I can also do this I can put out to my uh, in my intentions like all right I'm gonna meet her I'm gonna meet her I'm gonna meet her I'm gonna meet her and possibly three months from now I'm gonna meet her quote that <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into these drawings i did from young um all right so <laughs> right here i created a character this is this is so important remember we are all characters in our own stories right so i'm a character just playing my role in this play called life 
you're a character in my reality just as I'm a character in your reality. So we can create our own characters and make sure that those characters, we input our intention that those characters are actually us and then write our reality, write our story and boom, it will happen to in our reality because we placed it into the story that we created. So this is Estelle. This is, uh, I drew this one, I drew this. I usually put uh, dates on my stuff. I guess I didn't put one on here. This is a Estelle. Estelle is a character that I created. And before you judge, I was in a, uh, a when I was 13 or 12, I was in a Pokemon half Pokemon, half human club, all right? I was in that club. I was the le one of the leaders of that club. So we just created like half Pokemon, half human people, and we just create these stories together and all this good stuff. So I created a, <laughs> give thanks. I created a character. Her name is Estelle. She's half um, Espeon, which is a cat Pokemon, which I love cats. I always drew myself as a cat growing up. And this is Lux. Uh, he's a Luxray Pokemon. So what is the significance behind this? This character, she had a love story with him. He uh, and her had a love story together, whereas in the past, in their past, they grew up with each other. And they fell in love. They were each other's first loves in, the, in this past. Something happened where they both forgot in each other. Like she got blasted, hit her head, and got amnesia about him. And he grew up forgetting about her. So when they come together, when they're adults again, uh, they, they, they don't know why they have an attraction to each other because they didn't have an attraction to each other before. But it was when she decided to save him because something was going on with him, something evil was attached to him, and she had to go into his mind and save him. So it was when when she goes into the mind and save him, that's when all the the memories start to come back. All the when she starts to heal him, um, all the memories came back, and they realized that they had a, a past together, and they loved each other, and then they became they began to love each other in the present. Why is this so significant? I actually ran into Lux, the person, okay? And his, he was actually my ex-boyfriend. Um, his story kind of matched, our story kind of matched, and his attributes, how he was, his characteristic, his character was definitely like Lux's character. And... Something spirit's been telling me that me and my ex boyfriend had a past life together where we were together in that past life, just like in the story, they had a past together and they came together as adults. Me and my ex boyfriend had a past life together and we came together in this reality. And we went through some difficulties just like them. They were confused, they were all they were both confused about what story, like what, what to do with themselves. They didn't know whether to love each other other or just stay away from each other just like me and my ex we didn't know whether to love each other or stay away from each other and it's really profound because I did not realize that I was creating these stories as I was young really creating these things into my life creating these stories into my life and what spirit says is to whenever I said what to do in my life uh, spirit what to do in my life the spirit would say create a new story Create a new story. Make a new story. Every time I'm like, oh, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Every time I think about art. Every single time. Because what happens... <laughs> oh, okay, I'm going to get to this next. Okay, yeah, this is this is exactly what happened. Uh, this, I don't... I used to make comics, guys. So what's happening in this photo is he's trapped in his own mind. This is me going into... Okay, this is her waking up. She's waking up into his own mind, seeing he's trapped, trapped in a in a cage, right? And she notices him, and she's saying, "Don't worry, I'll save you." And she runs and starts going after him, basically. So that's what actually had to happen with one of my exes, with with, with him too. I had to go into his mind and just heal him, like really, truly, just 
go into his mind. Like, that's what Spirit was telling me to do. Like, really help him go through his psychological uh, healing. Help him with his psychological problems because that's, you know, you heal when you're in relationships. You go through it, like, mentally. You, you go through what's going on with them mentally and you just heal with them. So this is what the next picture is, right? So what's going on here? It's Estelle, which is actually me, Lux, which is my ex, and a new guy, right? This new guy, who is this new guy? So this was a love triangle. So many times in my life, I've caught myself in a love triangle between my ex and some other new guy that was trying to pop up in my life. And I'm just like, mm, I don't know. You know, I, I kind of do want to move on, but I'm still stuck on him and what all this stuff. So this is what really happened in my life. And what happened in my life is the guy that come in right now, who is actually my current, he has locks. He has locks. And I'm just like, wow. He had the same physique. He has an arm. Whoa, wow. I just noticed that. He has an arm full of tattoos just like this guy. And I'm just like, wow. Like, um, before, early in my relationship, I was going back and forth like, what should I do? Because I keep thinking about this guy, but I know I can. my spirit has brought me my new guy. And I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa. Huh. That is, is something. It's really something how we can create our own realities through our talents, our gifts, our skills, and our abilities. That's what we're here to do. And every time I'm asking spirit, whenever I'm some, I'm getting my, my family telling me to get a job or do something, like I'm like, what am I supposed to, what am I here to do? What am I here to do, spirit? Like, I'm being, why am I being so confused about what I'm here to do? Every single time, spirit's telling me to do art. Every time, spirit's telling me to write. Do art and write. Because that's create that creates, that manifests not for me, only for me, but for people around me, people who comes in my life, and for people like you. That's why I love to draw people or draw things for people because I know that if I'm staying in a nice space, a high vibration, a high frequency, it can manifest something beautiful for you too. And that is the intention I place out into the universe. I would love for somebody to just come at me like, hey, can you draw something for me? I'm trying to manifest this into my life. Da, 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 da. All right, cool. Because that's my purpose here. That's what I'm here to do. I'm here to help through my art, through my, my talents, my gifts, my skills and abilities, through my writing. Um, yeah, I, and I wrote full blown, full blown, uh, comics. And the thing is these comics, these things that pop this, we just, these ideas that come out of nowhere that we're possibly tapping into the Kashuk records doing this. We're typing into past life memories and these, these stories, these comics that I make, I'm thinking like, I know this is coming from my past lives. This is how I figure out what's going on in my past lives. I draw it out. I just draw whatever comes to my mind. Ding. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so this is, this is amazing. But here's another thing, though. I always drew Estelle crying. I always drew her with some kind of distress story, some kind of um, love story that went wrong or something like that. I always drew her crying and whatever, just drew her crying. And that really spoke volumes to me because I drew, that's like drawing myself, drawing myself in distress and crying all the time in love, which that's kind of what happened, man. Like I was sitting here in pain, peace my love. I was sitting here in pain about uh, relationships and going through the worst of the worst type of situations and relationships. And I could have just drawn myself a new story. I could have drawn myself happy in relationships. Instead, I'm drawing her sad and stuff. And this is years ago, guys. This is this is a this is a portrait from years ago. So we can definitely definitely draw ourselves a new story. This scene actually happened. Actually, really happened. <laughs> actually, really happened. And I'm just like, wow. Like, especially, I just saw this today. This, this is how manifestation works. You see something. Something becomes comes into your vision. And what is your five gates? Your five gates are your, your, your seeing. is your five senses. Taste, smell, touch, sight, 
and hearing. That's your five gates. That's what you open into your reality. That's what you, comes into your reality, right? So what I see is manifested into my re reality no matter what. So we have to be con conscious of what we're placing in front of us, what we're seeing on a day-to-day -day basis. If we're watching horror movies and sad movies and all this other stuff, we're inviting that kind of stuff into our reality. Because that's this is, is like what's on the outside is happening on the inside. What's happening on the inside is happening on the outside. So... I just wanted to place that there. I actually saw this that day that this actually happened. So I actually invited this situation into my reality. What he's doing is ki uh, he's kissing her on the forehead. And I was just like, and that happened to me that same day. And I'm just like, yep, the power of art. Ha, <laughs> nah. So, um, oh, yes, thank you. So... This is something I have to finish, but you guys are going to get a sneak peek of it. This blue goddess. This blue goddess. I actually started to... I saw her. This Before I started painting this, I had a sketch out. And I did not know what I was going to do with the sketch. I had no idea. No idea whatsoever. Until my, my boyfriend started talking to me. And when he started talking to me, this is when I was like zooted, I was high. He started talking to me and all of a sudden I started having this vision of this blue goddess emerging into the cosmos. And I was just like, and I felt like this blue goddess was me. And I was just like, whoa, whoa, what is this? But then I started to disbelieve what I saw. And when you disbelieve something, that cancels out every single manifestation. When you disbelieve something, that's canceling out, canceling out your imagination. So when I start disbelieving what I saw, actually, she started to I started to come back to reality. And that's when I realized that this blue goddess has something to do with me. So I'm painting my ancestors. I'm painting who I am. I'm drawing who I am. I'm creating my own story and my own reality through this art. All right. Another example before I get into how you can actually do this for yourself. This picture. This is my sketchbook. And this picture right there, I made and 8, 14, 17, what is it? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Okay, August. So I made this in August, right? And on the back it says, okay, not in, it's not on the back, but I remember creating this and stopping right at 3.33 a.m. 3.33 a.m. I stopped drawing this portrait. And while I was drawing her, I was actually looking at this girl on Instagram. Her name was Luna. I absolutely adored her for some reason. She just looked like a cat to me. And I was just like, oh my gosh. So I started creating her as I'm, you know, like creating this girl as I'm looking at Luna. Three days later. 3.33, the number three, right? I meet her at little five points. What is the what is the odds? She didn't even live in the states. She don't live. She don't live here. She don't live where I live. She lived in um you know in another in another state. And I'm like, yo, I just draw. I just drew this person looking at you the other day, and now you're here. And I'm just like really hyped because I'm like, ah, oh, I freaking love you, <laughs> you know, and. I showed her that and you know it's basically like it's amazing because I actually manifest people into my reality by drawing them first before I even meet them before I even meet them and it's beautiful I feel like it's so beautiful and one more one more I, there's so many oh oh wow whoa whoa okay cool I'm gonna do that too so spirit actually used my art to tell prophecies I'm able to see into the future by drawing. And I'm like, spirit, work through me. What do you want me to know? And then I just start drawing, right? I draw people's situations. I draw what's going on with them. Not sure if anybody, I don't know. Whatever you see in this photo. Well, I'm going to say this. I saw like some some man who had darkness over him, right? 
and he was with this girl, she don't really, really want to be with him. She don't want to be with him, but she feels she feels like she has to because she 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 wants love. But she, I started, I started uh, drawing angels around her, like little light like orbs, angels of protection to protect her from the darkness that was on this man who looks so beautiful. Sorry, y'all, like that. Wow, I just, wow. So this man is very beautiful. He's, he's, he's very beautiful and so appealing on the outside, but what's going on on the inside ain't right. What's going on outside, he got some dark matter around him. He got some darkness around him. And so I drew angels in a protective aura over the woman because she's looking like she's distressed. She's not happy in this relationship. She's not, she's not, she's not wanting it. She don't want it no more, but she's still in it. She feel trapped in it. So, wow. Yeah. Whoever is that? Yeah, I know. Yeah. This guy, I drew him. And he actually looks like one of my friends that I just met, uh, possibly some months ago. And I showed it to him because this is actually him in the past life. We knew each other from the past life. And I, I just drew this to just indicate that I knew him from the past life. And he saw that and he was like, oh my gosh, that really looks like me. That like I really thought, I, I always wanted an avatar. I always thought myself as an avatar. I saw myself as an avatar. You literally drew me as an avatar without me telling you to. That's awesome. That's amazing. And I was just like, yeah, man. <laughs> so, okay. There's a lot of things I've manifested, like a lot of things I manifested just through art, just people in general and everything like that. I try to manifest love with this picture, but it, it just, uh, I, I, I did actually, I just missed the opportunity. Sometimes we, we can manifest things and we're, if we don't have the eyes to see it, I really actually did have the eyes to see it, but I didn't feel worthy enough. I didn't feel like I was worthy to receive it. And that's the biggest, cancellation of manifestation we have to feel worthy to receive what we're asking for what we're, what we're manifesting into our lives because we're if not it's just gonna walk away and go to somebody else because you know you don't feel worthy enough for it so i actually actually did manifest this guy but i i just didn't say anything i just was like uh this guy is not even on my level he's way above me all this other stuff so yeah um, but this is the fame. Okay, one more, one more, more before I get into how you can manifest this for yourself. Um, this is the famous picture, which started it all. <laughs> well, it was when it didn't start it all. It just made me know that this stuff is real now. This right here is a current is a current situation. This right here is a picture that I drew of me and my current boyfriend. I drew him into my reality. And I. this is how I manifested him. Let me just show you what it says around all this stuff. It says spirituality. It says growth, joy, stability, great sex, <laughs> forever bond peace kindness truth light vegan chef empire true love divine soulmate destined to be happiness purity so when i created this i wanted all these things to happen all these things to happen right um and i I created it. It says on the back, it says finished at 3.30 a.m. Manifested love, true love. When I created this, I said to the universe, universe, because at this time I'm sitting here getting soulmate after soulmate. I'm asking for my soulmates from past lives. I'm asking for all these stuff and I'm getting them. I'm actually getting them. But the thing is, I'm not really feeling it. You know, I'm not feeling 
like I want to be with them forever. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, universe, I thank you for all the beautiful connections and relationships that you place in my life. And especially the last one, the last one, the last, the last, last one, when before I made this at this time, I was just like, man, this guy is cool and all. He's beautiful and he has a heart of gold, beautiful, loving spirit. But spirit, man, I'm not physically attracted to him. Can you send me? This is exactly what I said. Can you send me a light skin? I, I mean, I like light skin guys, and it's it's just your preference. This is make sure. I'm not saying I don't like dark skin guys. I'm not discriminating, but this is exactly what I'm saying. Just just letting you guys know. I want a light skin, dreadlocks like tattoos artists you know all these beautiful things i was saying with appearance i was saying stating the appearance of the guy then i said okay and somebody i can grow with somebody i can uh learn from he got to be smart do conscious woke everything like i'm just going in about on this list i putting it out there i'm like hello help me help me so after that, after I had made that big old list, sending out that huge prayer, because that's what it is, just prayers, just vibrations, and words putting out into the universe, into, to, to the Holy Spirit within us. After all that, I got a thought, like the Spirit said, draw him. And I said, all right, because I was just like, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for this. So I just started going into my book started i started off with a heart not sure if you can see this but i started off with a shape of a an heart and i'll do another video with him in the future so that another video in the future with him so you guys can know that this stuff is real because he actually drew me years ago too so I start off with a heart just for the intention of love. And I'm like, all right, let's go. And after that I was done, I wrote the words around it. And after I was done, I smiled. And I got happy because something in me said, yes. And I said, hmm. And I started visualizing. And I just started visualizing the happiness, start feeling the, the feeling of happiness. Boom. All of a sudden, I just started feeling like I got this. I already have him. I started sleeping next to this thing. I started kissing him goodnight. I'm like, goodnight, baby. I love you. Waking up to it as if I already have him. Hold up. I got used to the restroom. It's getting real. Please stay on. I'll be right back. All right. Oh, I got more. One more than I thought. Cool. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm back. So, I was talking about, oh, uh, y'all know I washed my hands, all right? <laughs> y'all know what. So, oh, yeah. So, I started believing that I already had them. 
because I started believing in my gift. I started believing in my power to manifest because everything was just coming into fruition. Everything was just like, oh my gosh, I drew this and this happened. I drew that and that happened. I drew that and it happened. I can bring this guy in. I can bring him in. So exactly a month later, I'm talking about exactly a month later. And it takes for big manifestations like this, like asking for a soulmate that you possibly knew in a past life to come in and teach you a lot of things and all this other stuff. It, it is a big manifestation. It requires a lot of belief and it requires um, all these steps that I'm about to go over to be carried out to the T. So when this happened, before I met him, um, the universe was giving me signs and signals that he is here. He's on his way, and all you have to do is reach out for him and talk to him. All right? Excuse me. Reach out to him and talk to him. And usually I don't do that. Usually I'm just like the one that, you know, is approached, or I, I guess sometimes I, I would get shy, and, I didn't, and I'm like, uh, would he like to talk to me, or should I even just, I'll just stay over here. He's cute. I'm just going to stay over here. But the universe is like, nah, fam, you gotta, you gotta take the initiative this time. We already gave, we did so many things to make this, orchestrate this for you. The, and actually, stuff was happening in his life too. I'm gonna get to that in a second. Um, stuff was happening in our lives that orchestrated us to be in that same position. But the day before, the night before, uh, the universe was telling me through uh, a infinite waters video that says just do it he was saying how to um, meet your soulmate or how to meet the guy for you or meet the person for you or how to talk to how to talk to people something like that he said just do it just reach out to them and do it just go ahead and talk to them you don't want to sit here and be like what if all that time you don't want to sit here and be like what if what if i would have went off and did it? just do it and all I, I was like, all right, universe, all right, all right, I got it. So the, the, the day came, and some things, this is, this is what happens, though. The universe is going to put some obstacles in your way to be like, okay, you, do you really want this? Do you really want it? Because if you really want it, you will stay happy. You will stay grateful for having it. You will stay happy and grateful that it's already in your life. And whatever I throw at you, you better keep your calm. You better keep your cool. You better stay high vibrating because if not, you know so the universe was sending a lot of stuff my way that day uh stuck in traffic being around low vibrational stuff and i was just like oh man i guess keep my vibration high being tempted by other things that i know that i shouldn't eat that is gonna mess up my vibration if i eat it it's gonna lower my vibration and cancel my uh my 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 manifestation so i drank water the whole day and i ate fruits i ate vegetables and all this other that good stuff that even if when i went to a breakfast like a little brunch thing um i decided not to uh indulge in those things and um because i'm like uh -uh, i'm not canceling my manifestation and when i was in traffic that day i was just singing just singing 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 like stuff from cinderella speak, speaking into life and existence i'm gonna make i'm gonna meet my prince i'm meeting my prince my prince is here all this other stuff so when the event came and i saw him he was the only one that gave me butterflies the only one i, I just said and when I saw him, I said, that's him. That's the guy I'm supposed to reach out to. That's the person. And even though he had a, like a kind of a mean mug on, <laughs> I was just like, okay, that's him. So I went out and reached out to him. When I saw him, I was like, all right, Janae, you can do this. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. And all I can hear in my head is infinite waters, Ralph Smart saying, just do it. And I'm like, <sighs> and I touched him and he turns around. And, then, and I'm just like, is this, I'm like, I just wanted to say hi. And he was like, this is what, this is what made me like, wow. He took my hand and kissed it and said, greetings, goddess. I said, oh, oh, oh. I started busting out laughing. I didn't know, I don't know what just took over me, but something in me 
la I kept laughing. I don't know what happened, but I just completely just sh my wall came down. I, I this never happened to me before. Like I just literally just started busting out laughing in his face, and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. I just <laughs> and he was like, what the heck? And after that, the story will be told. Stay tuned in my future book. <laughs> so, that is how I manifested one of my soulmates. But, let me just say this. Be careful what you manifest. Because, even though I had this whole list, there were some things that I was missing off that list. And those things that, um, not even missing, some things that wasn't on that list that... Um, kind of got me shaken like this guy that i'm with now he i'm divine feminine and he's definitely divine masculine it's like i'm right brain he's left brain it's like he's the balance with the where, when we come together we're balanced very balanced and he's so many things that challenged me in my life being with him and so many things that challenged him in his life that being with me and i'm just like we was actually really growing together though we were growing just like I stated but just like what I set out into the universe but which way in what way were we growing I never I never was specific 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 about that you know the one I'm talking about I was never in detail about which in what way to grow in but it was still growth I was knocking out fears left and right each and every day daily being with him and that was helping me grow and evolve just like he was a growing and evolving me with me so how to manifest now we have gotten to the point of the video people are coming in share this video if you like the story so far please go ahead and type the like button and share let me see all the love show me the love show me the love um how to manifest in four steps right you can manifest through art, writing, your talents, singing. You can do that too, you know. You can actually put spells on yourself through singing, you know. But that's, you know, just anything. You can manifest through anything that God gives you the talent, skill, and ability to do. But how to manifest in four steps. I actually went on YouTube and I went on Isabella Palacios video and she had these four steps which actually is how i manifested so number one be specific be detailed i don't know how to say that word i'm sorry be detailed in what you want make a list just like how i did and how i wanted my my boyfriend to come in i made a list i said exactly what i wanted exactly what i wanted i have to make sure i put every single thing in there because you can ask for love you can ask for a relationship be like uh universe god spirit i want a relationship i want a relationship all right here you go drama toxic relationship uh baby mama drama all this other stuff got a text message all this crap that you didn't even ask for because you wasn't detailed in what you wanted so make sure you you know exactly what you want make the intention of that coming to you and knowing exactly what you want you you have to know you have to know exactly what you want sometimes we just don't know but you have to really sit down policy for some days and actually know what you want to do what you want in your life this can be just with anything it doesn't have to be with a relationship it can be this is just i'm just using that example because that's how i manifested my relationship um you can be a car that's how i manifested my car too my gosh i manifested a lot of stuff um, it could be all these opportunities. It could be anything. So be detailed. Two is to visualize. Visualize what you want. You have to sit down and meditate on it. You have to sit down. Not even, if you don't want to meditate, just think about it for at least 17 seconds. There's a 17 second rule. Definitely a 17 second rule that you have to know about. We have to... Uh, think about it for 17 seconds for it to go out into the universe and for it to just to be into fruition because what happened in the mind is happening outside if you're thinking about debt all day what you think is gonna happen you will attract debt 
So let's think about being rich for once, being rich forever. Let's think about being having money in our pockets, being rich in, in, in abundance, you know, just 17 seconds at least. And then once you have that 17 seconds to visualize that, that's boom, that's popping. That's like a baby seed. That's like planting a seed in the univ in the cosmos. You're planting a seed in the cosmos. And so after that, after you place it in for 17 seconds, boom, it's a reality now. Now what you must do is focus on it. So you can focus on it for another 68 seconds. So a minute tops, a minute and 30 seconds tops is how long you have to really sit there and visualize what you want. All right? And then the more you visualize it, the more it comes in. The more you're sitting on it and you're happy, vibrating high and just like, <laughs> he's so cool. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> You just <laughs> you you it comes into your you comes into your fruition it comes into your reality right three let it go let it go let go of what you just asked for but and people's like oh how how am I just ask for this stuff and you tell me to visualize it and then I have to let it go how how am I supposed to do that how am I supposed to not think about it but you're telling me to think about it. Well, it's, it's the it doesn't necessarily say not think about it. It just necessarily means just don't keep asking for it. Don't keep asking. Just stop asking for what you already have. Because once you visualize it, you have to step into that belief. Belief is being. So that means I have to act like I already have it. Act like I already have whatever I want. Act like I already have that relationship. I started kissing. I started kissing it. I started sleeping next to it as if he was already mine. As if I had a space for him on my pillow like he was already here. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, we have to let it go in that sense. We have to let it go and make and know that it's on its way. Know that it's already here. It's on its way because past, present, future is happening simultaneously. So, if you're thinking about something that happened in the future, really thinking about it to happen now because what happens now, what you're doing now affects your future, affects what you're doing in your, in your, in your near future, right? So, we have to let it go. Completely let it go. Stop asking for it. Stop, if it's money that you're asking for, stop asking for the money. Uh, that's that's a message for myself. So I've asked it for the money. It's coming to us. It's coming in abundance because we sat there and did the work. We sat there and asked for what exactly we wanted and visualized it into our uh, reality, placed that seed in the cosmos, and now I have to let it go and just expect it. Expect it. And that was number three, let it go. Number four is be happy and be grateful. That that's a confirmation for me. Be happy and be grateful. Just be ha why be happy because happiness is a high vibration. The faster you vibrate, the fast things faster things come to you. And the more happy you are, the more happiness you will receive. That means you will receive exactly what you're asking for. Be grateful. Be grateful. Be ha send out to the universe gratefulness for what you already have and what you soon to have because we have we already have everything we want and everything we need, right? So gratefulness is the the ooh whoa <laughs> gratefulness is the best best manifester is the it speeds up the process and just know that you have to just be it be grateful be be what you want be who you desire to be what you want is your your reality be grateful so I, I, yeah that's exactly what happened I was actually grateful for him being in my life already because I knew he was here and now he's here so that is basically all that I wanted to say I do have a lot more things I could show you guys that I've manifested but that is it that's basically it share this video and let us I really want to the people that's on still on right now we're gonna do something and I would love for you, what about vision boards? 
Okay, I'm going to go through my comments now. What about vision boards? Vision boards is the, is a great manifesto as well because it's like we're seeing it every day and we're recording it into our subconscious mind. You have to have a picture in front of you to to see into your real reality. So why what is the the what is a vision board? You're visualizing what you want to reality. You're visualizing your dreams, goals, aspirations and your actions and what you want. So that's why a vision board is important. A vision board, is, I would recommend that for somebody. I would because I really did have a vision board and I really have manifested some things. Ooh, that was on my vision board. And the Spirit's been telling me to create another vision board for a long time now. So yes, rec do recommend vision boards. That's something to, um, that's a great tool to keep on seeing it in front of your face. And when you keep on seeing something in front of your face, it it has to come into your life. Has to. That's the law. That's the law. A visualization. Who? So, do you smoke weed? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I try. I try not to. Sometimes, not even sometimes. I really don't really smoke weed like that at all. It's just that whenever I want to or I feel like I, there's something I want to see with my third eye. Because it is, it, it, weed is, um, it does activate something in us, but we're not supposed to smoke weed. We're not just supposed to smoke it at all. We're actually supposed to, it's used for healing purposes. It's, you, you can do, you can drink it for pipe, Christ's sake. It's just that we're not supposed to be smoking it. And when I do smoke weed, I'm like so my i'm so heightened in my psychic abilities it kind of makes me like go bonkers so not even go bonkers it's just that yeah it kind of does i'm like whoa 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 messages 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 i'm reading i actually think i can read people's thoughts if i'm high <laughs> i feel people's energy and stuff like I'm, I'm 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 chilled out on that really chilled out but i'm gonna get to a point where I'm going to, I feel like I, something in me been wanting to smoke weed, but I just been afraid to do so around people and like certain energies. So I, if I ever do, I would try to, I would do it on my own, in my own energy and all this other stuff. Weed is healing. It does have a lot of healing properties in it, but we're not supposed to be smoking it. That's what I know. We're supposed to be like possibly making it into oils. And putting it in our foods and just get a body height of that off of that. But it depends on intentions. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So for the people that's on right now, I would really love to do this with you guys. This is a participation part. We're going to manifest something together. I want somebody to come on and it's gonna have to start it's gonna start off real smart. It's real small. So we can just prove to everybody to the universe that this works give me something to draw anything give me something to draw and we're gonna if when it does manifest into the reality into my reality i'll post a picture of it i come on i will come on live and i'll show you that this stuff works only oh it will and if it does not work is only because I didn't follow these four steps, which is be detailed, visualize, let it go, and be happy and grateful. So, if anybody can come on and tell me some, give me something to draw, give me something, something to draw, so I can sketch it out and bring into reality and show you guys that this stuff works. Anybody. If not, if you, if nobody wants to do it, I'll just do it myself. I'll figure out something on my own I just want somebody else to give me something to draw so I can manifest it so show you guys that I, it wasn't just me it was somebody else's energy who was put it into this as well anybody any ideas I got nine people watching come on somebody say something it, it don't matter what you say I'll be waiting butterflies and beaches okay well I actually kind of did hmm love what kind of love what what not kind of love what do you mean by love sunflowers I actually was about to start painting sunflowers too today 
that that's that's cool. Um, purple bicycle. A purple bicycle. I haven't drawn a bicycle before. And that's so. That's so. I like that. That that has detail, and that is just outlandish that you wouldn't see a purple bicycle. Where's my, I was gonna start sketching now. A house, a view from the top of the Great Pyramid. Oh my gosh, I'm about to do a sunflower painting. Oh, that's cool, awesome. Oh, for the person who said butterfly, I do this, right? It's a girl with an afro with a lock hanging down, a butterfly giving her lipstick, right? Right? And a tattoo on her arm. Days later, I met a girl with an afro with a lock hanging out like one lock. A girl with an afro with one lock. What is the odds? And her name means butterfly. And she was wearing lipstick. And that's something. That's really something. All right. Um, okay, I got to choose one of these things. Um, a purple bicycle. I have never drawn a bicycle drawn a bicycle i might do that i might do the purple bicycle i might do that i might just draw a purple a, a bicycle color purple and see what happens um but the way it comes into my reality it might be a picture online it might be in a shop on the street or it might be somebody riding it by. I have to be quick enough and conscious enough to snap a picture of it. So I might do the purple bicycle, bicycle but somebody else do something. I want to do something else as well. Something, something else. Sunflowers, beaches, and butterflies. A house. You know, anybody, no one else has an idea? Because if, if not, I'll just go with the purple bicycle. All right. I don't see nothing else. So purple bicycle it is. <laughs> we will try to, we will manifest a purple bicycle um, by placing out to the atmosphere visualizing it drawing it thing being grateful that it's already here and seeing it so whenever this happens i'm going to go ahead and let you guys know a new dream catcher well if you guys want me to manifest something for you i do have art services so if you guys do want something to be painted uh want want some like some kind of portrait i do i am an artist here i do have a shop up I'll place the link in this video. And that is all. Thank you guys for chiming on. My friend who needs to be with her kids. <laughs> That's wrong, all right? I can't, I can't do, I can't manifest things in what people's actions, okay? Well, maybe I can if I visualize it enough. I can go into my prayer closet and pray about it. But I can't do that. They People's going to do whatever they want to do, all right? Tell, if you want her to be around her kids, tell her she needs to be around her kids, okay? <laughs> so thank you guys for staying on with me. I do appreciate you guys. Please share this video. Donate, donate through a share. Whoever gets to this message, I pray it helps them in the best way possible. You can create your reality. You are the creator of your reality. Use your God-given gifts, girl or guy. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to be, whatever you want, desire, it is already yours. As long as you desire it, you have that desire in your heart and you visualize it. Keep that vision alive. Be happy and grateful. You already have it. And just be happy and grateful in general. Peace, love, and light to you guys. Namaste, Ashe. I love myself. <laughs>